So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, what was that? Huh, it might be finished. Let's go check it out. It's done yet. Let's see. Man, that came out pretty good. Hey guys, welcome back to another RestoreMySneakers.com video. I am your host, The Camera Guy, and in this episode, we tell you how to make some of that secret sauce. I know, I know, you heard, you read the comments. Some of you are angry, some of you are excited, and some of you don't know what to do. We just want to say we're sorry. We were excited too. We wanted to show you what we came up with, what our results were, but we wanted to make sure we tested the stuff out. So to make up for that, we're gonna show you how to make the secret sauce. Well, it's not really secret. We got hydrogen peroxide. Okay, next. You're gonna need xanthan gum, okay. You're also gonna need glycerin. And one last thing, you're going to need a type of OxyClean. You're also going to need, um, to keep it safe, use some type of special resistant glove to hydrogen peroxide. As hydrogen peroxide can be some, you know, really dangerous stuff. So what you're going to need, uh, the original mixture requires that you use one pint or 500 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Now, we're not going to use 500 milliliters, we're going to use about half of that. So we're going to use about 250. So make sure you have your gloves on when you do this. Okay, it's about 250 milliliters. All right, the next step is you're going to pour in the hydrogen peroxide, be very careful too, into the blender. Next on the list, you need two heaped tablespoons of xanthan gum. Now, since we're doing half the formula, we're going to use one heaped tablespoon of xanthan gum. Okay. That? Yeah. Good. All right. All right. So you want to cover the cover it really well. You're going to mix it on high. For five seconds. So right now we have the oxyclean. I mean, not the oxyclean, but the hydrogen peroxide and the um, xanthan gum. So go ahead, hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So what you're gonna need is um, for the full formula, you need one level teaspoonful. So we're only gonna, going to use half of glycerin. All right. So blend for another five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then it says to leave, it says let it rest for about a minute. So you kind of have a paste consistency Sauce. from the mixture. So we're gonna blend it again for another five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Next thing you want to do is you want to move the mixture into a small container. They suggest that you use a dark one, like a tin can. So we're just using a small Tupperware. And it creates this very liquid type paste. Or, you know, liquid solid paste. Now at this point, it's important that you um, figure out what you're going to do with it. Once you mix the OxyClean into the mixture, you're going to activate the pro you're going to activate the RetroBrite, and then you're only going to have a few days to actually use the product before it goes, you know, out of use, it loses effectiveness. Okay. Next, you also want to boil some water 
You're going to use this to mix the OxyClean in there. Next, you're going to need, from the original formula, one fourth teaspoon, uh, table, uh, teaspoonful. So we're going to use about one eighth. So you're going to have to kind of eyeball this. You don't want to use too much. Just get the right amount. Um, a little more, maybe. All right, that's good. We're going to put into a little bowl here, and then we're going to mix a little bit of hot water. Uh, inside and then mix it around before we add it to the final mixture. So this will help dissociate the OxyClean. A little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Enough to get it to... You only want to put enough to turn it into a, a liquid. More. More. That's good. Alright. Then you're going to mix it. You want to mix it, mix it, mix it until it turns into kind of like a liquid. Until it gets into like a, you get that good consistency. Next, you're gonna mix it into the jar that you're using. You can also move that jar into a bigger bowl if you want to. Mix it in there. Um, some It should start to foam up, so you wanna mix that, mix it as much as you can, okay? So once the OxyClean has been added, you will have about three days to use uh, to use the RetroBright gel until it starts to lose its effectiveness. And that's something for you to keep in mind. What you want to do next is use a brush to apply the RetroBright gel. It's going to be a little difficult to do this using this mixture on the midsole. You want to apply it like so. Alright, go ahead. Next, you want to put the stuff in direct sunlight. And let it sit in the sun. Water in the toothbrush. Clean off the retro bright. Going out of control. Got it. I know, I know you have questions, you're confused, it's too much work, it's too hard. I understand. I completely understand your concern. I've been working on this stuff for the past three weeks and I have not had much sleep over it. We tried our best to find a way to make it work for everyone. And so far this is the information that you are going to need in order to try it out on your own. To answer some of the questions that you probably already have, you're going to need to use a high concentration of hydrogen peroxide. In this case we use 12%. When you finally make the mixture, before you add the OxyClean, you can store the mixture inside a dark jar and save it for later. Don't add the OxyClean yet. Once you've added the OxyClean, you've essentially activated the gel. Once you've activated the gel, you need to use that product in the next few days. Another concern that you might have is, well, how long do I keep the shoes out there? In the sun? exposed in direct sunlight. Usually it takes about 30 minutes, a little more, maybe 40 minutes to get results. So make sure you watch and monitor the shoes. You're going to worry about the same things we've addressed in the past. Sole separation, midsole separation, those are still relevant issues you're going to experience. You can try putting the shoes by the window. That seems to work well. 
You could even try a light setup uh, for more advanced restorers who are more interested in using that technique. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, what was that? Huh, it might be finished. Let's go check it out. That came out pretty good. Head in there for a couple of days, not too bad. Let's see, this is kind of how it looked like before. Here's the other one we were working on that we haven't even tried yet. Let's see if we can get a side view here. Let's see, do some comparisons. Wow, that looks really clean. Huh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in there and see what I can do with it. let you know the 11s weren't done with retrobrite we're still working on it guys relax we'll get there